drawing and painting tools. Hey, let's take a look at an overview of the drawing and painting tools available to you. On your toolbar, the first three icons you see will be paintbrush icons. And the first paintbrush, if we click on it, is called pixel brushes. So let's go to recent. There we go. <laughs> and you'll see that there's all kinds of different drawing and painting tools within here that are provided for you. And then later, if you want to even add more, there's a plus sign and Adobe provides you with thousands of new brushes. And you can also import some of your own favorites uh, from Photoshop and other places that maybe you've purchased or created. But you already start with some really great tools to work with here. And these are the pixel brushes. Pixels are basically what computers use to show images. And pixel brushes have beautiful fine gradations of color and shape and texture. So let's take a look at these. We'll just look at a few and go in depth in other chapters. So here I'll just grab like the soft acrylic one. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of color here and then I can go ahead and paint with it. And I'll grab another color. Let's see, let's do maybe this yellow. And you can see how I can start to actually blend a little bit too. And I can hold my hand light and then go darker. But we'll go all into that. I'm just giving you an example of one pixel brush. <laughs> there are a lot um, for instance like this Syrah brush. Let's take a look here. Take like an orange color. And he was someone from history that did little dabs of paint, almost like pixels, <laughs> paint pixels. And you can see there's a totally different brush. There are hundreds of pixel brushes and we'll go a little bit more into them later. The next category of brush is the live brushes. Let's take a look at a live brush. Live brushes work, whoops, let's click off that one, a new layer. And then the live brushes have a brush with a little drop by it. And you open it up, it says live brushes. I'll go to Recent, there we go. There's watercolor and oil. And they work a lot like natural media where they um, actually like the watercolor actually expands and keeps expanding <laughs> even after your brush has left the canvas. And and the watercolors even blend and bleed together and, and start to fray and blossom just like real watercolor. It's pretty amazing. I'm just really tickled that they are creating brushes like this because in the past digital brushes couldn't come close to like real brushes and these <laughs> these are really amazing so like let's say i'll take the watercolor eh, watercolor roundy do flat ah uh, watercolor wash flat and let's see i'll just pick a color here and make it Make sure it's large enough to see. And now it keeps growing even after I leave. And I can even add more water or less water to it. And then let's say I'm going to um, have a color next to it. And you'll see that it starts to bleed into the other color. I'm going to try the yellow. The yellow really shows it. It's sort of bleeding into the color. And I can even change the transparency all the way to zero. And that works like water, like I'm adding just clear water to it. And it keeps growing. <laughs> and there's even one that spatters. 
Let's take a look here. Okay, so that's the watercolor, and then there's also the oil, and they mix <laughs> sort of like real oil. So see, there's one oil paint chunky. It has a chunky quality to it. And you may not be able to see this, but it the paint actually gets stuck onto your brush, just like real oil. And we will look more at these brushes later. Just know that there are also live brushes. And then the last category are the vector brushes. And I'll create a layer for that. Okay, so, oh, and come to think of it, vector brushes have to have their own brush because they're really a totally different creature than all the other brushes. They are not pixel-based, they are vector-based, which means that they are um, actually mathematically drawn for, with the computer. Let's say I'll take, uh, I'll go to the basic and maybe I'll do this chisel here. Now it goes from thick to thin. But the thing about vectors opposed to pixels is that you can go infinitely close and it's continually redrawing itself so that it's it, it, it retains a nice crisp line. This is excellent for when you need to resize images um, at various dramatic sizes, like say a logo from a very small business card all the way up to a roadside sign. Um, it's great for hard, crisp edged graphics and illustrations and graphic novels where you're inking. Um, it just retains its quality no matter how much you resize it. It's not so easy with um, creating fine gradations, although I've seen some people do some amazing stuff. But this opens up a whole new category of brushes. So there you have three categories of brushes, and then I would say there's even a fourth, because within the pixel brushes, there's one called the mixer brush. And the mixer brush mixes like like oils or pastels, they, they really actually engage with each other and mix. They don't just lay on top of each other using transparency. Um, I will show you how those are a little bit different and so amazing for mixing. And then other tools that you can work with are like the eraser. If I click it, I can use all different kinds of eraser shapes and styles to um, paint with my eraser or erase out with my eraser. Okay, so you can use your eraser to, you don't have to use just a straight standard eraser. You could use an eraser that has maybe a rough edge to it. and all kinds of ways that you can use erasers. Once again, we'll look deeper into that later. Then there is this little finger here, and that's called a smudge tool. It allows you to smudge things, basically like you're using your finger, um, but it also is great for blending, and it gives you all kinds of smudge tools in here, just like the brushes. Look, there's like you know, I don't know. <laughs> There's a bunch of different things in there. Um, let's just try smudging. So I'm going to take um, on a graphite smudger. What the heck? I'll just go with it. And let's make sure it has a good size. And then I can smudge. Now, I don't know. I find that a lot of times a smudge tool, even though it some might have some texture. They all still kind of blur because their purpose is to
to smudge. <laughs> but they also work great for like blending two colors together. See how those are all blending? And then the next tool, painting tool, is a paint bucket. And a paint bucket takes any like solid area, like here this is all this yellow. And then let's say I want to change it to blue. Um, I'll put it in the paint bucket, click, and it takes all that yellow and pours um, that color into it. And you can pour colors into shapes and selections that you make and all kinds of things. Then, let's see, then there is the eyedropper tool, which works in conjunction with your brushes, where it allows you to go along and pick colors and place them in to your color panel here so that you can take out your paintbrush and paint with them. Let's see if I'm getting a different there. So, okay. So there is a bunch of tools for you to use. Um, several different categories of brushes. There's erasers, smudgers, paint bucket, an eyedropper tool. And then last, I want to just show you, because there's so many brushes, and really, even though you can go in here and discover new brushes and go grab them for free, um, there's only going to be a few that are your favorites. Um, I don't know, maybe you'll be somebody who has thousands who are your favorites because <laughs> there's so many great ones. But you don't want to have to hunt and pick to find them. So you can collect a little favorites list like I did right here by just going to the pixel brushes, trying out different brushes that you like, like let's say I like that marker chisel brush, and then I click the star and you'll see I put marker chisel into my favorites. And now I can always easily find it within my own little space here in favorites. And then if I don't want it, I just unclick it and it disappears. Okay, so that's a little overview of the sort of drawing and painting tools that are there for you.